As I've stated publicly on many occasions, there is no definitive scientific proof through real-world observation that carbon dioxide is responsible for any of the slight warming of the global climate that has occurred during the last 300 years since the peak of the Little Ice Age. If there were such a proof, through testing and replication, it would have been written down for all of us to see. The contention that human emissions are now the dominant influence on climate is simply a hypothesis, rather than a universally accepted scientific theory. It is therefore correct, indeed verging on the compulsory in the scientific tradition, to be skeptical of those who express certainty that the science is settled and the debate is over. But there is certainty beyond a reasonable doubt that CO2 is the building block for all life on Earth and that without its presence in the global atmosphere at sufficient concentration, this would be a dead planet. Yet today our children and our publics are taught that CO2 is a toxic pollutant that will destroy life and bring civilization to its knees.